Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for Who Chatted? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> special episode of Who Charted, where we use the weekly charts in music and movies to get to know our guests. We are streaming live on the Video Podcasting Network right now. I'm your cuckoo, Cool Up Vilaisak, and right across from me is your wee-wee, Howard Kramer. Hello, Cool Up. Hello, wee-wee. We are live. Are you checking uh, your, your uh, <laughs> what you look like in your phone? And yeah. now the, okay. Now good. I'm looking at the monitor. I'm not always in the monitor. I'm setting up my own phone monitor so I can kind of go rogue and just look at myself the whole time. <laughs> and I advise our guests to do that. I advise you, starred whoever would like. I can't imagine it would be distracting. <laughs> no. In any way. There I am, see. <laughs> Kramer, let's, let's describe this look. What is this look that you brought? That's professional. Well, what I'm doing here, um, this is my normal non-summer hat. But what I did underneath, if you pan down, keeps the camera on that. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I thought I went suit last time, and our, our guest tonight is Suit Magoo himself. So I thought I would keep the tradition going, and here I am in another suit. Jacket, yeah, okay, jacket. yeah, suit jacket. Jacket, <laughs> to one tone, I feel. I uh, I haven't mastered the many tones as we'll see on our guest. Should we introduce them? <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> you know him as the ultimate podcast guest, the ultimate podcaster, the ultimate comedian, and gentleman extraordinaire, the mighty Paul M. Tompkins. Yeah. Who shot it? It's all happening. Yeah. One tone. <laughs> One tone. Now, what do you mean by tone? Can I ask that right off the bat? Well, if I were to look at you, I'm talking, speaking, of course, of hues and tones, colors. Colors, yeah. right. So when I look over at you, I'm confronted with a multitude of plumery. Are you... <laughs> so you're saying I have... I, I'm wearing a suit that is blue. Yes. I have a shirt that is white. I agree. And a tie that is red. That checks out. And... You have a pattern going on that tie. That's true. There's That's more fair to say. Yeah, there's more going on in the tie than is going on in my whole scheme. Now, what you are doing is you have a sort of uh, Christopher Walken hosting SNL kind of look. There you go. I'm doing where he that. comes out, black t-shirt. <laughs> right. And the suit jacket. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing suit pants, trousers? Oh, these, these are a pair of jeans. No, you are not. <laughs> yeah, those are jeans. Is the answer? But you know what? I can tell why Walken would wear this, because he may have to change quickly into something That's else. very true. Yes. He might, he might have uh, tearaway trousers. Yeah. Like they have in uh, sporting games. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Games. Games. Yindi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, uh, we got a lot going on in this show. Of course. Okay, we're gonna do our standard two charts. Right. We're gonna do a Q and A. Where, Question and answer. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Please, you guys, make your comments. I don't know what camera to look at. There's so many this time. That one. Hi. Um. So send us your your comments. I mean, put it on the YouTube and and we'll read them. It's gonna be great. It's gonna and be so much fun. Since this is YouTube, let me save you the trouble. We're all gay. We know it. <laughs> That's right. There's no need to point it out. Right. <laughs> if, less, if you need practice typing the word gay, <laughs> go I, for it. I know yeah. we've eliminated Y-O-U-R. That's done. Now it's just U-R. Yeah. Right. Because everybody's in a hurry to get, everybody's in a hurry to pronounce people gay. I That's get right. it. <laughs> right. But we already know that we're all gay. <laughs> but it does help cut to the chase. <laughs> and you are. I'm not in suspense. See to the sea, my friend. <laughs> Ooh. C to the C. Cut to the chase. Oh, oh good. nicely done. BRB. <laughs> Where's Kulap? Her back. Don't leave. 
Airbnb. Oh. <laughs> Am I the only one who's going? Look at that. I'm the only one with phones now. Should I go sans phone? You got to stop looking at that monitor because it's making you crazy. <laughs> it is. I don't think that's what's <laughs> making him one crazy. Oh, come on. Come uh-huh. on. All right. Uh-huh. I'm going to shop sans phone as well. Okay. Well, we should also had. Uh, we should announce yes. that the new newborn baby cult video is it premiering? Is it premiering oh, yes, right it now? Is. In Absolutely. This- is yes, exciting. it is. Uh, Dragon Boy Suede, Newborn Baby Colt, off the new album Douche Manusha. We will be seeing the music video featuring Miss Kulap Vilay Sack. Dragon Boy Suede is your uh, alter ego, your hip yes. hop alter ego. Yes, my MC name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you make a differentiation between the character of Dragon Boy Suede and the character of Howard Kramer? It's mm-hmm. uh, it's a bit blurry. That distinction. Sure. It uh, uh, there's not that much difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it is it the way you dress? Do you dress differently when you're Dragon Boy Suede? No, Dragon Boy Suede is me when the uh, things he say start to rhyme. But you will never as <laughs> as Dragon Boy. If you are if you're performing as Dragon Boy Suede, yes. like you let's say you are billed as Dragon Boy Suede yes. tonight only, Dragon Boy Suede. Yes, no refunds. Right. You, I would feel then obligated to do them. A musical song. Certainly, but you never refer to yourself as Howard. While I'm dra- doing Dragon? While you're Dragon Boy Sweet. Mm, you know, like uh, if you were telling a story on stage between right. raps. Right. <laughs> you I'm, wouldn't say, this happened to me the other day, and this girl says, Howard, right? Well, possibly I could, yes. Like, Of James, course you can do whatever you like. I know, I am able. But I, I'm saying I might choose to as well because... Uh, it, these are just names. It's oh, oh. Hova is still Jay Z, Marshall Mathers is still Eminem. These are just names, Paul. Just these semantics. Just but do you feel that if Eminem were on stage telling a story similar to the story <laughs> that I pretended you were telling, right? He would might he re- say, would he say a girl said to me, Marshall? He might. He even uses Marshall in his, some of his songs. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's so. true. That's Although true. you are better dressed, now and you're saying sound so. Better, so Jay Z, I was the one with the answers. Even though Jay Z and Hova yeah. are the same person, <laughs> is there a real name in there somewhere? Oh, that would be uh, Sean. Sean. Yeah, Sean I like how you used an alter ego <laughs> as, who has another alter ego. <laughs> yeah, true. I should have gone to the root. Uh, we've learned a lot so far, <laughs> and. Um, Let's have a big round of applause for Kulap and how lovely she looks in her non-suit. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Star. Thank you. Women's fashion, or non-suits, as they're called. All the women have suits. Women yeah. have uh, business suits. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, true. I saw, Power suits. Uh, Power suits. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. And ladies who choose to work. It's not that they have to. They want to. I hey. saw. I, I seen this documentary yes. ah. that was about women. Ooh. Yeah. That was the subject matter. It was women. Okay. Uh, and, and the women's movement uh, and women who create things and uh, you know media and stuff like that. And the earliest female newscasters on television, they wore suits, right? Like lady business suits. But they wore these crazy bow ties <laughs> that was just like, like almost like you would see a flight attendant wear. Yeah. And that yeah. was that w- they all wore them. And it was to say we we're women, but we're trying to be serious. I, it was sort of, the way they described it was sort of like we didn't know what else to do. Like we had to wear suits, but it seemed weird to not wear a tie. So we had these sort of lady, lady. like lady, lady versions of men's business like ties. Uh, ascots or no? Or? They were like these, almost like a like an oversized Colonel Sanders tie. Oh boy! <laughs> yes. Wow. What but, airline but in, do the la- when, what airline do stewardesses wear that? Oh, I feel like you're really holding my feet to the fire on this <laughs> stewardess analogy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt... Uh, I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I've seen I it. Feel Does like that I've not seem too. familiar to you? Uh, not so much. I didn't fly that much uh, as a child. <laughs> so I don't have those recollections. I feel like I could go out on a limb and say, this feels like an American Airlines thing. <laughs> okay, American Airlines. Does that satisfy you, yes, Helen it Thomas? <laughs> it sure does. Let's hear that music theme. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's a new American Airlines on the horizon. Oh, jeez. Tardis, you do your part. To- 
Oh, we might have to run that Let's back. Let's start it over. Let's yeah. start it over. I wasn't ready. I had no cans on. Hey, Chartist, do your part. Hit me one time. Music chart. Hey, Chartist, do your part. Hit me two times. Music chart, music chart. Hey, Chartist, do your part. Hit me two times. Cool up, cool up. Hey, Chartist, do your part. <laughs> Tunes. Yeah. All right. I was just wait. I was waiting to be pointed to. You know, I, I continually forget that you listen to the show, and uh, I was, I'm always surprised when you know something from the show. And I, I know everything it. from the show. Everything. I know. Have. I know stuff from the show that you don't know, Howard. Well, I know that's true. Yeah. That's a, I have right. to second that. <laughs> you know stuff from this show that I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I also know how everyone's going to die. Oh. Oh, Jesus. It's boring. You don't want to hear it. Oh, oh good. What else is going on? I'm <laughs> glad that my death's boring. Music chart. <laughs> Music chart. It's the ultimate chart. This is ranked by for a formula that uses aggregate data from Amazon, iTunes, YouTube, Pandora, Facebook, Clear Channel, and many, many, many others. Many others, yes. Others, others. So all these scores are out of 100. So down three to number five, Rihanna with Stay. That we look like a big sin enemy. <laughs> that somebody's watching this and they think like we're a beautiful, graceful, disgusting or a sea creature. <laughs> sea enemy. With many limbs. Mm. Hey, uh This had an ultimate score of thirty seven. That's thirty seven out of a hundred. I knew it. What you does that it? mean? Yeah. It felt like a 37. <laughs> did it? It felt like an aggregate 37. Came it did. about 37. Yeah. It, that's about like an average of its sales, radio, online watching and listening, fans, friends, and followers. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so what would 100? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <Nicole>. Fans. <laughs> friends. <laughs> Families. <laughs> it's electric. <laughs> Ultimate chart. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. It's uh, exciting. It's yeah. hard to contain it. Uh, What's that, Howard? What's yes, that? Howard. Yeah, you too. Yeah, go. Uh, What's that? This may be too dry for you in the mood you're in. Oh. But, um, <laughs> Bring it up. I don't understand. That's a 37. What's 100 mean? That it, it, everyone in the world listens and it only got a 37? I don't understand the, the grading there. Okay, so fair question, cool up. Fair enough. Sales, they 31. Radio, 26. Online, watching and listening, 37. Fans, friends, and followers, 8. So then the average of that, I guess, is 37. I get that those numbers are average. I have no idea what they would mean in, in, in relative to 100. Well, we are going to go down uh, to top five. <laughs> Very combative today. <laughs> hey, man, through? I'm trying to get to the bottom. They changed the chart. I want to know what's what I'm looking at every week. Well, do you want me to jump to the number one, which is 100? Oh, wait. So if it's number one, it gets 100? Yeah, all it's of these are out of 100. Rate. That means 100% of the people agree, or close to 100. It close could to actually it, be yeah. 100, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just... Oh, based out of the sampling the... size. Yes. Are you okay. familiar yes. with Rotten Tomatoes? Yes, I am. I've yes. seen some of your films get uh, terrific reviews on there. Some of my films have done really well. And they've gone on to big box office. That bad Bafo B.O. Sometimes I'll stick <laughs> six, six, six picks. I'll switch over to movie box office to well, track those sales. That what, I you're going to ankle I, the Rotten Tomatoes? I do. I ankle it. I, I digi-ankle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prexies. <laughs> oh, online. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, listen, I congratulate Rihanna. Anyone uh, who can distinguish themselves from an island to the mainland is doing well. Oh, wow. And that is your dream, right? To what? distinguish yourself. From an island. How many island, island people would you say have really made it? I'm going to give it... I'll, how about I'll give you a list. You can approve of these. All right. Uh, Rihanna. She's made it. From an island to mainstream success. Okay. Bob Marley. Yes. Yes. Although although I would say his greatest success came posthumous. Mm, not. This is not to say he was not successful in his time. Right. But certainly, uh, Bob Marley legend did not come out while he was... Alive, right? He well, he was it very was, well. It was a respected. collection, an aggregate uh -huh. of his greatest I hits. Said that word he earlier. probably felt like a huge success 
even though he went on a greater success after Tuar. Do you think he did feel like a huge success? Do you yes. think Bob Marley, like there was, even if it was just once, like looked in the mirror and said, "I'm proud of me." Yes, I do. I've and then watched he got super I, fucking high. Hey, right? He he. Uh, I think being high for him was a constant. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't actually make him high. Right. But um, he put the Marley name on the map. He it's came true. from auspicious beginnings. He he succeeded where Jacob Marley failed. That's right. Wait, to come from auspicious beginnings means it very like you're well to do. Yes. Well, Were that, you thinking inauspicious beginnings? I must have left out a syllable. <laughs> it I happens. Certainly could not have been wrong. Inside the noggin. What are you, some island person? <laughs> Bring it back All right, we, we've got three. Do you have any more in that list? Oh, yeah. I'll throw a Wyclef on there. Wait, wait. Do we have three? Did we we? had Rihanna. Rihanna. We had Bob Marley. The oh, end. Okay. Oh, good have, call. Now we're at three. <laughs> Wyclef I'll throw on there for what a strong is he three. From? He is from Haiti. Okay. That's a big one. That's a big island. <laughs> Uh, it's a big place to get successful out of because you're you're behind, you're 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 starting off a little bit behind. <laughs> I'm gonna throw on you a <laughs> pit bull. <laughs> where's where's pit bull from? He's I think he's from Cuba unless he was born in Miami. <laughs> I'll look it up. All right, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna hand this list you. This is getting very shaky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hand over to you the keys to a. J Lo, she but from Puerto Rico. From Puerto, 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 Puerto Rico. Rico. <laughs> I thought she's Jenny from the block. She was yeah. born here in America. Oh, good point. I'm gonna toss you to a Bruno Mars from Hawaii, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or a Don Ho, or a Don Ho, <laughs> <laughs> or a Barry Obama, or Jonah Wright. That's right. Hawaii is on the come up. <laughs> Paul, one could say you're from an island hmm. if that island was distinguish, distinguishton. <laughs> <laughs> the Isle of Distinguishton? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's nice for you to say. I feel like that's a compliment. Oh, of course it is. And I'm taking it as one. Please. Yeah, take it. <laughs> you know what else I'd like Compliments. you to take? <laughs> take from Kulap her lace. <laughs> Do, what do I have to give her? In, some leather. That? Some leather. That's a fair exchange. I will give to you my leather, <laughs> and I will take from you your lace. Yes. That was beautiful. a beautiful song. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. Pitbull is from Florida. His, oh, his family the is from Cuba. of Florida. Mm. Wow. Key West? Miami. Mm. Mm. Miami. Well, mm. we'll say uh, Fidel Castro. Can I, you know what? How could Pitbull not be from Miami when you think about it? Doesn't he seem like a pure Florida creation? Yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. What, it, what, how would you describe that Florida? What is it? It's, it's a transplant and then they become beefier and Flo- more aggressive. <laughs> Florida is one of those places in America that's like its own country. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you don't necessarily you don't f- feel any, uh, you know, sort of John Mellencamp feelings about it. Right. It feels like it's its own place. And it feels like it acts like it's its own place. Right. They yeah. think they're the best. They think they're the best. They think they got it all figured out. We're talking Florida, Texas, yeah, Alaska. Oh. Places that don't consider themselves really part of the United States. Right. New Orleans. Really? No, I disagree. Really? Yes, I most strongly disagree. Put it in this here for me. You, sir, are the most vile curb. <laughs> Still on Lincoln. Oh, Howard, Lincoln. I have an apology to make to you. Yes, please. Because, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, I'm, what my apology is going to be? I do not. Nobody's so excited already. <laughs> when we were recording the second, our second episode of Analyze Fish Ooh. with young Michelle B. Farrow. Yes. Check that out on Earwolf.com. Earwolf, uh, please, yep. I thought we were going to be there for an hour. I had Ooh. a dinner engagement at 7 p.m. What? And we were there from 5.30 till 7. Right. Something like that. You skipped dinner? I did not skip dinner. I got there late. Okay. It was fine. But I was very anxious about the time. We got into, <laughs> it's getting into overtime, and I'm trying to very speedily like move things along, and it's not happening very well. And then you at some point... So at some point we were talking about Steven Spielberg led to a mention of Lincoln and then you said I feel like Lincoln was like Springsteen yes 
and I felt like we're really up against the clock. I didn't know if I had time for a concept that big. <laughs> so you shot him down? I shot you down. Wow. Well, you now. said you said don't you feel like Springs don't you feel like Lincoln was like Springsteen and I said yes. And then <laughs> <laughs> moved on to Shelby's next talking point. And I apologize to you uh, uh, in front of YouTube mm-hmm. and God and everyone. Well are you you're apologizing because we didn't discuss it further? Yes, I, I apologize because okay. I ended your concept. Oh, okay. I did not. I shut it down. Okay. Rather than letting it breathe free. Well, I accept your apology. Thank you. And um, up three to number four. Oh. <laughs> Bruno Mars with <gasps> we were when just talking I was about your him. man. Oh my God. When I was your man on an island. Do you think he has a song called When I Was on an Island? <laughs> Oh, is this? Oh, is this Should we all be leaving our ringers on? Or? You know what? That was, that was a message. Uh, we got a message. Someone saying, turn your ringer off? No, someone saying they love us. <laughs> Kramer, give me your phone right now. It's off. It's off. I turn off the ringer. <laughs> Who was it that said It was Dustin. Oh. oh, hi, Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Mars Dusty. Mars Dusty. Okay, so ultimate score, 40. Look at the monitor. You keep pointing at the monitor, and I, I looked at it like I thought I was going to see Dustin. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was Dustin. All our call, all the people who text me will appear on monitor. <laughs> oh, wow, I don't have that app. <laughs> Bruno Mars. Uh, Bruno Mars, he's doing a good job. He, uh, They try to take him down. They try to get pictures of him. They caught him doing blow, but he's he's hung in there. That's my take on Bruno. Yeah? He's uh, plucky. He is. Yeah. He's full of grit. Gritty. Yeah. Do you, do you want to tell us your theory about Lincoln and, and Bruce Springsteen uh, being okay. the same? Oh, sure. I um, The reason I see similarities between them, they're both uh, guys who are heavily invested in America. They have a progressive vision of America. And One they... perhaps more so <laughs> than the other. Well, Springsteen... <laughs> Springsteen's not the president. That's but, very true. Yes, but for a guy who uh, uh, who moonlights in uh, in uh, you know molding the nation, he does a great job. He writes things. He speaks. He rallies. He is the conscious of the nation in the way, in a similar way to the way Lincoln was in his time. I'm glad that you had an opportunity to make your case, but I don't think you made it. <laughs> Is that fair to say? Well, I, w- we, wh- I wasn't you- done stating it. Oh. Oh, 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 I, oh. I apologize. Okay, go ahead. I, okay. I jumped the gun. Right, go now, my apologies. Uh-huh. If Lincoln had to set his ideas to music, and that music had to be very extremely compelling, yes. he wouldn't have time to be as involved in government. He would have come up with a ballad as what Springsteen put out. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait, wait. The song can make me cry. I know. Are, are we? I think I have cried on to yeah, this to song. Sandy. Here. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I follow what you're saying. Are you saying that if Lincoln, Lincoln wasn't encumbered with having to come up with music? If he did, he would have had about the same output as Springsteen politically. Yeah, certainly, certainly, uh, of the two. The bigger burden was Springsteen's. Uh, equal. I'd say equal burden. Equal? Okay, that's yeah. fair. That's more than fair. <laughs> Just as far as uh, speechifying, I'm saying. Not so you're, you're, saying, you're saying Lincoln... <sighs> I don't mean to confuse you. Because, because Springsteen has the burden of also coming up with music and melodies? Right. Orchestration. Otherwise, if that weren't holding him back, he would be another Lincoln. People, right. would, cons- people would talk about them in the same breath. Yes. He has the same understanding of the human condition as Lincoln, Shakespeare, Springsteen. There's, there's only a few of them. And you know what else? Before he gets down to work, he tells some long rambling story right. that you think is going nowhere. Right. But it connects to the, th- the work that he's actually about to do. Exactly. And his first wife was crazy. <laughs> Julianne was a nutty red. Right. And Lincoln had married Todd. He wasn't able to get divorced back in those days. So it's like he had to stay with Julianne and right. not get his patty ski alpha. Right. Uh, do, do you feel you've made your point? I feel like I have. I feel like Paul is dressed in the time, in the period, you know, he, he wore a suit, as Spielberg did when he directed the film. <laughs> That's true. He wore a suit the whole time he directed Did he really? Lincoln. Yeah. 
No, it's very respectful. He did. He didn't wear a shark suit when he directed Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, neither did the shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't there some shark news you want to share? Oh, oh that's sure right. Is. Wow, topical shark news. Uh, there is a um, there is a herd. Is that what they call? It? What is a bunch of sharks? A herd. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely a migration of a, thousand a, sharks. A terror? A terror of sharks? Maybe a, a terror? A pod of sharks? I know. In street I sharks, it would have been a gang mm-hmm. of sharks, but that's street sharks. That's Those aren't aqua sharks. That's right. Um, well, we're pulling that up. But anyway, there's a bunch of black sharks. Spinner or, sharks. Uh, spinner? Mm-hmm. What's that mean? That's the name of the shark. You know about this shark news. I do know about the shark wow. news. Why am I the last person to find out about these sharks? <laughs> Do you have a you don't have a shark, shark app? app? Of course I do. <laughs> you don't have a shark migration app? Yeah, everyone does, and so do I. Hey, when I reshoot Jaws, you are my mayor, Larry Why? Vaughn. <laughs> You're going to reshoot Jaws? <laughs> Just because I have you. Vaughn is the key central character. Are you going to do, do Now, are you going to do it? Well, first of all, I'm, of course I'm flattered. Right. Secondly, I can't wait for the wardrobe fitting. <laughs> <laughs> anchor, powder blue anchored suit. Thirdly, are you going to uh, use CGI, or are you going to recreate it the way it was done? Are you going to use a mechanical shark? When's it do? <laughs> <laughs> if Wait, I, <laughs> Paul, Paul's not producing it he's asking you Wait, about your dude. production I can't act and produce this thing I can oh, only wear so many hats <laughs> um, well I'm going to be the shark if we have <laughs> no, oh, oh, wait I'm oh, the shark right oh, like oh, that. we can do that I'm we can, the shark wow we can do that Wow, we now, can. Now, now I really am wondering when this is due. <laughs> well, <laughs> now we can't go CGI. We got to put you in the water. Oh, um, I'm not a strong swimmer. What? How long did Jaws oh. take? What was it? How long did Jaws? I think almost take? a year. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How uh, long did it take you to do a newborn baby cold video? Uh, a while, like a couple months, like a month. One month. Yeah. Okay, the music so took was... a while. I was working on the music maybe three regimes ago. That song's been around for a while. You're really milking it. Um, (laughs) I believe Engineer Brett has found the collective noun for sharks. You want to know it? Yes. Gaggle. The group of sharks is called a gam, grind, school, herd, pod, collage, or a shiver. Oh, a shiver of sharks. Oh, a shiver of sharks. A shiver of sharks. I was close with that terror. Yeah. Oh, you were close. That is good. I'll give that to you. Shiver you. Uh, does the sharks justice. The like a, a collage does not infer yeah. danger. That enough. one seems. What what source is this? Or what is it? A um, grinder? Shark app. Wiki sharks? answers. Wiki answers. Wiki answers. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't know about the wikis. Uh. Well, anyway, Paul. collage of sharks. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> also, why would there be so many? <laughs> But a collage has a lot of different things in it. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Right, yeah, that also, I think that strength is my case. <laughs> but why, the, usually with these collective, they're called collective nouns. Um, there, there is, we usually just use the, the one, one because it streamlines things, so you know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, about. why do they have so many? But it's very rare that they... Put that into wiki answers. What, what do you call a group of, of nouns, collective nouns? Oh, Ooh, good oh, call. Oh, shit. Starred. Wow. Oh, oh, starred. I should not have gotten so high before we started <laughs> streaming this. Bunch. Up I ate two peyotes and a mushroom. Oh, Jesus, Paul. I didn't know you could take pio- peyotes. Peyote. Peyotes. <laughs> <laughs> I took some wily peyotes. How do you take wily peyotes? <laughs> Is that your peyo- peyote suit? That's right. It's made of peyote. How does one take peyote? <laughs> take that, Woody Harrelson. <laughs> How do you take peyote? They're, yeah. they, they're like little buttons. Oh. And you ingest it. In the desert. Then you throw up. Okay. And then you trip balls. Blah, blah, blah. Why did I think it involved chewing on cactus leaves? <laughs> hey, let me let me get the shark news out <laughs> real quick. There is a gang. Uh, there is a, a shiver of black sharks hugging sharks. the coast of Florida. Yeah. Hugging the coast of yes, Florida. Yes, they're staying close to the coast. Mm-hmm. And we don't know why exactly, right, Kulap? We do know why. Oh. Um, Shark Thanksgiving? <laughs> Shark Thanksgiving, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are migrating because it's, it's getting hot, so they're going up to South and North Carolina. So they usually live Oof. the Caribbean, Florida, and they're just moving up for the summer. Oh, so it's just a normal story. It's no big deal. It's a normal story. They are migrating a little later than usual. Ah, so it's, it's coming it's up with... Sharks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They're tardy sharks, and then Tarks. 
<laughs> and they're spring breakers at the same time. So this is oh, amazing. finally, oh, spring break. They're all getting it. But now, are these man eaters? These no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's it, it, and they talk about how like most people don't realize they're like just like a few yard, hundred yards away or so. Yes, don't. I don't like that fact. Mm-mm. It's a tough fact, huh? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared all the time. I am too. What's with us? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Of 23 spots to number three, One Direction with One Way or Another Teenage Kicks. Is it a mashup of the Blondie song with something else? Yeah, Teenage Kicks was the Runaways. Is that going to is it no, going to seg a cover. into that? Yeah, but it might seg into Teenage uh, Kicks. I mean, it better. It should. That's what the title seems to be promising. But we might not get that far into the track. Wait, why does this exist? One Direction. Oh, this is getting deep. Wow. Oh, One Direction. Now I get it. Yeah, they did it. Wait, what didn't you get before? I I thought it was One Republic, and I got confused. (laughs) I'm the place where you get your khakis. (laughs) Oh, the Ryan Tedder. Now I'm confused. (laughs) One Direct. One Republic is a group. Yes. I've never heard of them until right this second. (laughs) That song. Um, (laughs) it's too late to apologize. Oh, okay. I don't know that. I don't know their songs. I thought that was just created by a computer. Well, do your Harry Styles, please. I'm Harry from One Direction. Uncanny, right? Uncanny. He got hit in the nuts with a shoe <laughs> in Glasgow. In Glasgow? A fan threw a shoe and it hit him in the uh, area. Now let's mash that up with your Lincoln. Can you do Harry Styles into a Lincoln? A Jefferson City lawyer on the occasion of his first... Oh, uh, wait, I forgot the story. Oh, yeah, he had the parrot. <laughs> Jeff- is, this, Jefferson- is this Springsteen as Lincoln? No, Lincoln <laughs> spoke in a high register, Paul. In a high register, Wait, but Paul. who are you do- But you're clearly doing Bruce Springsteen right no, now. No, no, this is Lincoln. Did you see the film? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay. I may be doing an impression of an impression, but I am doing Daniel Day-Lewis's Lincoln. Let me hear a little bit more of it. A Jefferson City lawyer <laughs> had a parrot. Wait. Hey, Lincoln, if you don't cough, you don't get off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I, you know, when you heard Daniel Taylor's doing Lincoln, you heard it as a guy who just, who just <laughs> took like a massive hit, right? <laughs> off of a bong. Listen, <laughs> we're getting lost in the translation the here. Against itself, cannot stand. Let's hear your. Let's have a Lincoln off. Let's hear your accurate Lincoln. Let's go, Paul. My Sopkins. accurate Daniel Day Lewis Lincoln. Surely. <clears throat> All right. Let me see. This is, it's tough, but I I think one thing I will do is stop try, your hemming and hawing. Try not to act as if my lungs are about to collapse. <laughs> The Jefferson City lawyer uh, walked into a courthouse and said to the judge, well, now he's guilty and he's innocent. How do I know that? I'll tell you how I know that. That's what, that to ah, me is what he's saying. Like that. Okay, well, you've seen, does it sound a little bit more like okay, a lot more? 100% more. <laughs> Listen, you've seen the whole movie. I haven't seen the whole movie. What? How much is the movie? Hold on a second. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that true? I gave you the screener. I don't I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. <laughs> I, w- I like a little bit of Lincoln left in my future. I don't know what's going to happen yet with that. Uh, you know what? Words to live by, Howard. Right, but listen. I like a little Lincoln left in my future. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I didn't get a chance to study it the way you did. And I was on a plane for the no, portion I did no. view. <laughs> no. Paul, I applaud you. That was a beautiful Lincoln. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> could I'll give you the words and you'll say them, please. All right. Oh, as if it's like... <laughs> We're at the UN, and I'm translating for you. Or, or, you know, why don't we skip all that? You be Lincoln, I'll be Harry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I be? You're Harry Wait, Styles I, what are we Wonder doing? Wish. I don't know what the bit is. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able? Is this time-traveling Harry Styles? Exactly. Or is it time-traveling Lincoln? No, I want Harry back in the... Uh, all right, he's back in Lincoln Day. Okay. Oh, what That's a curious, for <laughs> what a curious circumstance, young man! How do you come to be in my bedchamber? I'm Harry from One Direction. What's that? We're a, a pop group from from the a UK. What group? A pop group. What's that mean? That means uh, the only pop with which I am acquainted <laughs> is the sound of a child's balloon being burst. <laughs> 
Are you going to be able to get your country going in one direction? <laughs> Down one to number two, <laughs> Macklemore and Ryan Lewis with Thrift Shop. <laughs> Ultimate score of 77. This is fucking awesome. Now, walk up to the club like, what up? I got a big cock. I'm just pumping myself shit from a fresh shop. This is fucking awesome. This is fucking awesome. That's his, uh... Cold-ass honky. Is that his catchphrase? Well, he's summing up his feelings about the, uh, shopping. At the thrift store? Yes. Go cool up. Uh, 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 yeah. I love retail-based music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is, uh... If he had a lot of money, he's just talking about shopping. It's just, it is just shopping. Okay. <laughs> Saying it's a depression era song. We've got a down economy. Something like this gets a chance to hit number one. I don't think this would have happened in, say, the late 90s. Go ahead. Or during the Great Depression. Or yeah. even then, mm-hmm. yes. As videos were tougher to view. <laughs> Wait, is this video chart or is it the music chart? It's the music chart. But, uh, you know, videos help the sales. That's true. Mm. And what, what number was that on the chart? This was uh, n- Ultimate Score, 77, number two. And is the is the whole song about shopping at a thrift store? Yes. Yep. It's all about that. Is it, I mean, is it a story song where I went to the thrift store, I wanted to find this, and then this happened? No, it is no story. It's basically he just keeps telling you different things he found. <laughs> it's more of a shopping list. <laughs> It's more like a haul video. You know about those? Where a 16-year-old girl will go on YouTube and show you all the stuff she just bought. Oh, a yeah, haul yeah. haul video, they okay. call it. H-A-U-L. Yep. That's what this thrift store song is. He, he describes all his items. He got. Although, I would love to see a haul video with you. <laughs> I would, I would love do. it. Haul after You know what? You, it right? Be, uh, That's the name of my channel. <laughs> Oof. It's exclusively <laughs> haul videos from Paul F. Tompkins. I like that a lot. Fine suits, pocket squares. Shirtings. Yes. Steampunk bags. <laughs> Wait. You know, they make it look like a potato sack. Look at, make it look old. A potato? No one wants that. <laughs> That's not even steampunk. No, it's a not. A potato sack. It's a briefcase. looks like a potato sack. <laughs> There's no gears or anything. There's no, no, no moving parts. parts. <laughs> Uh, hey, you know what, B? You know what I'm getting? What? I'm getting a paper moon vibe from the two of you. Depression era. One, g- one guy in a suit. Like she's Tatum O'Neill? Yeah. And you're Ryan. What do you think? <laughs> no, we, I can see it. Should we reshoot that instead of Jaws? <laughs> sure. Last cool up. How serious are you about this? Well, this one would be a lot easier to shoot. We just need a dusty field and an old truck. Okay. Guys, did you watch the Dust Bowl documentary? No. No. No, you know why? Why? Because you'll never be in the mood to watch it. Oh. My wife and I... It's a straight straight bummer, huh? It's a straight a bummer. (laughs) My wife and I T-vote it, and then we were going to watch it, and then we got got five minutes into it. It's that bleak in the first five minutes. And then it stayed on our DVR for months and months, and then we finally pulled the trigger on deleting it unseen. (laughs) We realize we're never, it's never going to happen. Yeah. It's never, never going to happen. You're not going to be in the mood. No. Yeah. Uh, well, for those of our viewers that survived it and lived through it. Watching it, you mean? Or, watching the Dust Bowl? Or maybe they were alive during it. And now they're watching YouTube live streaming on VPN. How? <laughs> it's a long journey. These people, for, well, I tell you what, if, if these ancient people <laughs> who survived the Dust Bowl <laughs> when they were children and are right. now elderly people, yeah, if they're fans of yours- who tried it? I bet they are watching the live streaming. I bet oh. so. If they found you in the first place and became fans, mm-hmm. I, I, give the, I would say I would give them enough credit to, to figure out the well, live We'll let those people vote. Of those people, we'll let them vote if we should remake Paper Moon with the two of you. Let that, yes. First of all, determine who your oldest fans are. Great. If you are an elderly person listening to this. Tweet at us. So let's say I'd like to say, know who our oldest fan. Let's is. let's let's widen it out a little bit and say sixty and above. Yes. like this. You start at sixty. Okay. okay. You cannot be younger than sixty. Okay. Over sixty. Who charted fans? Tweet at us. Let us know. You provide you, proof of age. Yes. Proof of age. Mm-hmm. And um, 
What are we like? A, a driver's license, birth certificate. Well, don't put that online. <laughs> but take a take a picture of yourself. Oh yeah. With today's paper. <laughs> And they can paper moon it, <laughs> and they can decide if paper moon is going to happen. Uh, three, that's really what they get to decide. Yeah, that's that's not. That's never going to happen. Well, we'll see. <laughs> they could. You should get, but for, you should find out who your oldest listener is and give them a prize. Of some oh, okay. Sort. I'd like that. I'd like to know who our oldest listener is, and I'd like to offer them a Springsteen rock. Or a Dragon Boy Suede CD. Or something an old person might really enjoy even more than those things. Insoles. <laughs> there you go, insoles. Shiatsu insoles from LAX Airport. <laughs> Which he, he got. There are, I'm he wearing was them. So are they excited. good? They're are they good? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great gift. When you're traveling, you got to treat yourself to stuff. That's true. And, That's um, very true. We were flying yeah. to Vancouver, and I was like, oh, it's time for us to go in the plane. He's like, uh, I'm going to put these on. Well, yeah, I didn't have to cut them. They fit perfectly to my feet. It's, I was worried because it cutting. said if they he might have to cut them. Yeah. I didn't want to have to do that. Um, but they've been working out. They're fantastic. They have like little uh, metal balls built into them that massage the bottom of your feet and activate all the. You different mean as organs. you're as you're walking around. As you're, as you're walking, yeah. They're not like you're sitting there. They're not doing anything. No, they don't uh, run independently. They're at rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they're at rest. Up three to the top of the ultimate chart at number one. Number, number one! one! Bauer with Harlem Shake. Con los terroristas. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. May uh, I say? Ultimate score yeah. of 100. Ooh. Really? Congratulations. Does everybody who gets number one get 100? No, not necessarily. Oh, oh. What do you think the lowest no. winner is? Like someone who got like 75. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Maybe like. If number two is 77, so. Like during a hurricane or something, there's probably small sales. You could be at number one by selling. Number one. <laughs> right. By selling, you know. 15 <laughs> copies. Um, I have still not seen the Harlem Shake. Or any of it. Any of them. None of it. Videos. None of it. I have absolutely no idea. And I have not been curious to seek it out <laughs> at they're, all. They're all very similar. They all have the same thing going on. Yeah, the song. The song <laughs> and what they do is, is pretty similar. Mm-hmm. So the Harlem Shake is a dance. It is a uh, meme. It is a phenomenon. The Har- Harlem Shake is the song. Okay. And um, basically, everybody makes these videos where it starts off where just one person is into the song, right? And everybody else is just sitting there. And then they cut Bored. to everybody then else. Then there's a drop, basically. You hear the drop, and then everybody goes crazy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's <laughs> not much to this one. But it is notable in that when uh, Billboard changed its, its uh, formula to add YouTube hits, it shot... Uh, no. Shot to number one because Just of number it. Number one. one, and I get to use the word again. It's the first time a, a video or a song has has reached number one on Billboard because of an aggregate. Aggregate. <laughs> aggregate. Aggregate vote. Aggregate. Yeah. 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 Aggregate. 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 You aggregate. know what? Get it. Get it. Wow, Paul. <laughs> uh, our farmers will be pleased about that. <laughs> <laughs> Her farmers. Agriculture. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, well, that was a fantastic chart. It was musical. Really good. It was. So let's take a break. Yes. And we will be back on Who Charted live on VPN. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this live show tonight. Make sure to support Audible so they can keep keeping our lights on. They've got so many audiobooks, people. And you know about WhisperSync, right? It's this amazing tool that lets you switch back and forth from listening to reading, picking up right where you left off. Let it synchronize your bookmarks on all devices registered to your account. Move from your porch to your morning commute to the kitchen without dropping your story. Access your book across multiple Kindles or audio players. Never again miss a single word again. 
end, you should definitely check out Audible's brand new iPad app. You can download it from iTunes. You'll also get free oh, audiobook and 30-day <laughs> free trial by visiting www.audible.com slash Earwolf Live. That's audible.com slash Earwolf Live. Let us recommend a book for you. How about Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus? So true. Written and narrated by John Gray. It's our official Who Tried a Book Club selection of the week. So check it out, Chartist. Head over to audible.com now to get started. Get it started. Audible, audible, audible. Exciting. Exciting. Let's hear that movie's theme. Oh, boy. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Movies, they're just like tweets. They release them constantly. Most of them we don't need to see. But when you get the good one, oh we movies. Wow. That one went a little bananas. <laughs> it did. What happened? Oh, it just got a little crazy. I was doing some phone stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free. I, I took away Howard's phone, so that's all right. I don't. Uh, I can't be trusted with that thing. Oh, I start, well, okay. go ahead. No, no, no please. No, no, forget no, it. No. no, I need to no. know what you're up to. Well. I was promoting the show that we're doing right now. Thank you ah, so much. I didn't get the, the tweet finished in time, and then uh, we're back, and I thought we were on a longer break, and I'm sorry! Oof. Did you finish the tweet now? Yeah, I got it out there. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you for doing that, Paul. Uh, you're great. You? I'm stupid. No, you're no, not. I'm dumb, you guys. No, you're the ultimate. No. You're mighty. It, you Everyone should, loves you. You should stop doing something and stop to promote it. It's smart. Why do I, why do I bother? Ugh. Springs, uh, I think, not uh, Spielberg did that. That during Jaws. I believe it was Lincoln who said. <laughs> he said, uh, uh, Jefferson. Let me said, out of here. Let me out. Uh, no, it's true. Spielberg missed a few shots from uh, doing promo right in the middle of directing. <laughs> it happens. I forgot that movie was live. <laughs> well, the first shot, live movie. They shot it live. <laughs> you got me there, Howard. It's they shot did real time. shoot it live. In real time. That's yeah. true. Hey, uh, yeah. Opening at number two last week. We think it'll drop to number five. R-rated comedy, 21 and over. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even oh, I'm sorry. These are the weekend. You think it will drop to number five? <laughs> well, it's the weekend box off predictions for this coming we- weekend. Box off predictions? Yeah. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, my God. I've lost it. I don't know where. box off predictions. It's a box even off. It's box off preds. Yo, yo. Box off it. Which makes a box off preds? Box off. <laughs> Box on. W-B-O-F-P. So, yeah. yeah. I think it'll drop to number six. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> 21 and over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number six well, for it sure. bombed. Uh, it opening really? at 8.75 last weekend. Ooh! Yeah. That's less Death. than half of what Cool up got made. you 21 and over. What? Yeah. Although I do support that there was an Asian lead. So yeah. that's good. How about it? That's really good. Oh, that is good. That's really good. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So far, it's I made eleven point one million. North Korea. What? <laughs> what? It's a huge hit in North Korea. What I'm saying, not, not everything oh. with an Asian lead is good. <laughs> North Korea. Am I wrong on that? All right. I didn't see it. Have you, Paul? No, I haven't seen Twenty One and Over. No. <laughs> what about Cable? Will you watch it on Cable? Is this the movie about this, this uh, baby hangover, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Are, no, are I'm you, not going to see that. And are you <laughs> saying cable? Cable. Is that well, what cable. you're saying? Okay. Cable. Making cable. It, what do you see on the, how you say uh, cable? Right. Cable. Yeah. I'm making it oh, yes. classy uh, for Paul. Cable. Right. <laughs> Paul, you eat at many foreign restaurants. Oh, my God. Assume. So many. What are some of the uh, titles of these places? Oh, I well, guess well, there's... Or should we not give this away? No, no, no! I'm okay. happy to give away the titles of the far the titles of the foreign restaurants at which I'm constantly eating. Mm-hmm. Coming well, in at number five, sure, Cheruzio. <laughs> Where's what's that? That is an Italian Mediterranean uh, Lebanese fusion restaurant. Oh. Yes. What's Lebanese about it? The the decoration? Uh, yeah. 
Not it's the decor is Lebanese, the food is Italian, and the Mediterranean, it's in a simulated Mediterranean ocean. Oh, I mm. see. Yeah. So, uh, salty. You're it's sure. very salty. There, there's there's water in the restaurant, like it's ankle deep. Mm-hmm. And when you open the door, they haven't figured this out yet. It's a, it's a relatively new restaurant. You open the door and you start to let some of the water out. And the whole staff will start yelling at you to get in as quickly as possible because you're letting out too many too much of the water. Too many waters. I see. Ooh, I see. Exotic. Sounds like a family restaurant. Coming in at number four. Number four is uh, Mach. 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 Yes. What's Ooh. that one? It's Iranian street food. Ah. Yes. And it's a, it's a street truck. It's a food truck mm-hmm. that they've built a building around. What? What? And everyone... Stands in line at the food truck, uh-huh. and then they get their food, and then they have to sit on the ground and eat. Wow! But it's in a building. Yeah, and the wow. and the truck was the truck. There by first. the way, go make don't, don't be tired when you go there because the truck is running, and so the exhaust is going. Oh boy! And you will start to get drowsy as you're eating. Wow! But if so you save op- money on booze. If you open the door, then all of the waiters will yell at you because you're letting out. The carbon monoxide. No, they no, will not. No, no. they have. With that. They don't know what's happening. They have gas masks on. Uh, oh. Oh, Someone gosh. should crack that door. They should. Coming in at number no, three. No and. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hula hands. Ah. It is an <laughs> Irish restaurant. Yes, sir. And it's a lot of fun. They got like crazy <laughs> stuff up on the walls, which I guess is an Irish tradition. Mm-hmm. But there'll be like a tuba and an old bicycle tire and a street sign. Oh, mm-hmm. it's like you, you're... Of Irish descent, may I say yes, that? Yes, yes, on my father's my, side, it's mm-hmm. true. So it's like coming home for you. Yeah, I feel like I feel there's like a deep connection to the old country when mm. I go to Hula Hands mm. and I order <laughs> <laughs> some onion rings or um, black, you know, like deep fried Snickers bar, mm-hmm. jalapeno poppers. Oh, oh. that's like you, like you started singing Danny Boy just now. <laughs> I like the bubonic ham when I go there. <laughs> Missing, missing, delicious. The, missing the. Coming missing. in at number two. Number two, of course, is <laughs> must be a French place. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, Ula Eiffel Tower. Oh, oh. wow! Ula Ula Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a French restaurant. Yeah, where uh, they take American food and they Frenchify it. Ooh. Oh, um, and uh, what they do is they add snails to everything. Escargot, let's go. What's that? Let's go. The snails. That's what they. Yes. Now yes. I understand. They say that all. They're constantly saying it. They're just like. Uh, and it's on the menu. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's go. Uh, welcome to uh, Ula Was that Lincoln as well? Yep. <laughs> And at the top of Paul's favorite foreign restaurants at number one. Number one! Of course, the number one slot has to be Bartholonio's, which is a Spanish restaurant where they serve Franco-American products. So... (laughs) <laughs> with a Spanish <laughs> twist. This is a fantastic so they will bring an open can of SpaghettiOs to you uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, that they have. <laughs> Bartholonios. <laughs> Bartholonios. <laughs> and they, in, you know, they'll do a Spanish treatment to it. Uh. Hey, you know what? I'm going to have to run to the uh, med's room real quick. Okay, go ahead. Okay. See you later. Right, well, this you is... guys hold this down for me? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, 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 yeah, that's fine. It's highly irregular. Uh, coming in at number four, Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy in Identity Thief. Production budget, $35 million. So far, it's made $111.2 million. Just just eleven point two million so far. Oh no, a hundred and eleven point two. Oh, that's yes. considerably. That's a lot more. It's a lot more. It's on pace to top director Seth Gordon's first two come. Uh, Lee. Oh, Lee. Uh, Hi, Lee. How you doing? What are you doing? We're just What's we're up? counting down the movie uh, chart. I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, you uh, did. No, I heard you were talking about restaurants. That's tr- that's true. So I came in to talk to. Uh, well, well, Lee, can I introduce you? People uh, may not know okay. who you are. This is this is. Good. Lee, watch out! Howard's uh, older brother. I came, I came out to, to, to show you his concept about Shredstaron. 
Oh, oh Shred Store. Sure, of course. Hey, I'm Paul. Hey, Paul, what's up? Welcome to Shred Store. I've got my point of sale guitar here. I'm going to take your order. What's up? Lee, did you make that yourself? Uh, I was provided to me by this great establishment that I now work at Shred Store. Okay. Well, now, but Lee, you want us to pretend that it looks like a little guitar and not like half of uh, a shoebox that you've cut into vaguely a guitar shape. Yeah, it's this more is, this, a, like a ukulele, Lee. This is a <laughs> this is a co-sponsor with Adidas. But it uh, it it more resembles the shoebox than it does a <laughs> at guitar. this point. You know, Paul, you've got to live in your vision, not your circumstance. <laughs> this can be a guitar if it needs to be. We're also not in a restaurant. We're in a studio. No, th- fair enough. Okay, here okay. we go. All right. What's up? Welcome to Shred's Restaurant. Can you. I take your order? Uh, yes. Um, I think we'll do drinks first. Yeah. Okay. What did you like to drink, sir? Uh, what what bottle? What beers and bottles do you have? Oh, uh, we've got Corona and uh, Bilksburg, and we've got a dark one. <laughs> oh, I would love. I love the dark one. <laughs> I'll have a Corona, please. Oh, Corona, no problem. Corona. What was your order, sir? The dark one. No, the dark one. Uh, 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 exit light and the Guinness. I'm sorry. We have we have theater tickets. Oh, I'll get you there going quick. No okay. problem. With my trusty whammy bar, I can send your drink order without leaving your side. Wow. How the hell does that work? It's connected, and when I go like this, they know what to it's do. Connected to what? It's connected by Bluetooth to the kitchen. So you hit the whammy bar, but somehow they know what we're ordering. It sends it's- the drink order via cable, via digital airwaves to the kitchen. They're yeah. working on it as we speak. But how do they? Now they're doing ice. <laughs> now they're doing mixes. Oh, I don't want any ice in my beer. I don't want any ice. Uh, yeah. Now they're doing glasses. Now they're doing tour. doing glasses. <laughs> it's all ready for you. A server will bring it out shortly. Can we move on to your main course? Oh, court? so you just stay here? You're I'm not. not a, I'm not a food runner. I'm a schneider. No, I, I certainly mean to. Uh, oh, at a TGI Fridays, they might make me do both. Here, I'm just a schneider. All right. What's uh Are there any specials? Yeah. Yeah, there's a plenty of specials. We've got uh uh, uh we, You can read it. You don't have to Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh I don't have a readout. <laughs> I do have to think of it. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to get you some start me up chili fries, or we can get you the Jesse's Girl cheese plate. Oh, so these aren't, these aren't, none of these titles are plays on anything. They're just loosely associated with music in some way. Fill out a comment card on your table, sir. Maybe your suggestion will be taken seriously by upper management. I'll I'll have have the Jesse's Girls cheese plate, please. Jesse's Girls cheese plate. I wish I had Jesse's cheese plate. How about you, sir? You don't have to get a special. What's this? uh, (laughs) What's this national anthem, Potato Skins? Oh, it goes a little something like this. Wait, I do that one lefty like Jimmy at Woodstock. <laughs> Jimmy Edwards? Jimmy. <laughs> it's morning, it's Sunday. Everyone did acid last night. This is not a well attended gig, even though it's famous. <laughs> Well, I don't think he was, he was just asking about it. I don't know if he ordered it. Oh, I can back Oh, yeah, you didn't hit the whammy bar, did no, you? No, but I can back out of that with my wah-wah pedal. <laughs> you might. It's not plugged in right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back to righty style. What can I get you, sir? Oh, all right. Uh, I think it will have those skins. And, um... <laughs> Sir, here's here's some more coupons. Come can, I also, back. can I also get this? Girls just want to have vegetarian shepherd's pie. Absolutely, it's a delicious new item. I tried it this morning in our shift meeting. What's up? <laughs> What was it called again? The girls just want to have vegetarian shepherd's pie. And the working day is done of <laughs> shepherd's so pie. Fret work. <laughs> I'm tapping like Stanley Jordan. What's up? Okay. Uh, I'm going to head back to the kitchen. 
to do a little side work. I'm not going to be bringing your food. I hope it's good. What is your side work? I have to fill ketchups and vinegar. <laughs> Uh, and also, if I could just trouble you with one more thing, uh, can I get a different water glass? Because that's uh, that's not my shade. <laughs> ah, no problem. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Our guitars are waterproof. I wanted to just demonstrate that. Some investors think it would be a problem, but they won't be affected by different sauces or fluids. But now that's a problem that there's water on the floor. I apologize. Do you have to put out the piso mojado sign. Oh, okay. It's the same as ordering sure. a beer. Anything, <laughs> anything in Spanish. I've been here quite a long time. I think I've got I'll other say. tables. All right. Well, thanks for coming to Shredstorot. If Junior here wants to shred off with me at the end of the meals, he could win a banana split. Okay. Gotta go. Take care. Bye. Bye, Lee. <laughs> wow. Oh, Wow. That was strange. No, yeah. You know what I noticed That's about delightful. Lee? You can tell that Lee and Howard are brothers because uh, they have a familial fascination with looking at the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's just a Kramer trait, I yeah. guess. How, like, it's not even uh, deeply the... embedded in their DNA. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm back from the bathroom. Howie! Oh, hey, Howie! I was busy looking at the mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lee came by. No, oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to pimp out Treadstaurant. Oh, great. How'd he do? You know what? A for effort. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, know? Uh, you know, we've really ironed out the concept. We're having nightly meetings about it, so... I, I'm sure he did great. Are you guys going 50-50 on this venture? Well, with Giancarlo. <laughs> We're going to give half to Giancarlo if he'd like it. <laughs> Have you spoken to him about it? Uh, he's not into it. We're going to try to sell him by just making the concept flower until he wants in. Opening tomorrow, coming in at number three, Dead Man Down. I've never thought about it before. And there's the trailer. When I saw you, I knew I had my answer. This is Colin Farrell. Yeah, Colin Farrell and Numi Rapace as two strangers who are irresistibly drawn to one another by their mutual desire for revenge. Oh, we're in it. Hey. <laughs> wow. It's also starring Terrence Howard and Dominic Cooper. No, we were in this movie? Mm -hmm. We're doing great. Find out more about you. This we is from the director of the original the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This is his American oh. theatrical debut. Oh boy, oh boy, that's rough stuff. Those uh, those Swedish versions. Yeah, yeah. like so not that not that the American one was the book. Uh, the book is you know, uh, Lion King or whatever. <laughs> uh, Kuna Matata. It's not. But uh, <laughs> 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 but yeah, we tried to watch the Swedish one. And uh, we could not. We could not get through it. Much like the Dust very Bowl dark. <laughs> documentary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For several reasons. <laughs> if you're going to watch a Swedish movie, you watch Let the Right One In or Nothing. It's scary, Ooh, right? Or nothing. Very scary. Well done. Is it Swedish? I think so, yeah. Okay. You know, those, the those, here. those three chicken finger countries up there. What? Sweden, Norway. Cool up. Those three chicken finger countries. Ooh, they it? look like three chicken fingers up <laughs> they there. They look like three chicken Wait fingers. Norway, Sweden. What's the third? <laughs> Name it. Finland. <laughs> right. Well, I'm still hung up on the chicken finger. Yeah. You know when you order chicken finger, are you, I, don't, I don't haven't ordered them in a while, but when you used to, you never know how many they're going to bring. In Europe, they brought three. Can Cobalt. I say, I can't. Wait. It's not because they resemble three chicken fingers. It's because they bring you three chicken fingers. No, it's when you order they, they are ch on the map of Europe. Yeah, it's a standard okay. three piece. Yeah. Now I can't, I can't uh, goof on that analogy because my sense of geography is terrible. Oh, let's. And I might look that. at a globe and say Howard was right. Well, wow. are you, those three chicken fingers? Uh, a man dressed. At, look at that. Look, three per, chicken fingers. You know what, Howard? You are <laughs> absolutely right. Right. Three chicken fingers. Really good. And the dipping sauce up in the corner. God God built Europe oh, wow. in the- uh, Sweet and sour right there. Yeah. He built Europe in the uh, so vision of this. So some guac down there at the bottom? Yep. It's a smorgasbord. Yeah. How would we order that in restaurant, <laughs> Howard? Oh, uh, chicken fingers? Yeah. Uh, I'd probably play you some Swedish death metal. <laughs> Some, you know, a dark lick. And then obviously for the guacamole, the side of guacamole. Oh, we could do anything from a uh, Cypress Hill. Uh, we could do a Santana. Anything of Spanish descent. Um, 
<laughs> Paul, I am yes. fascinated by the fact that you say you are uh, not the greatest in geography. A man Terrible. who looks as you do, who like a world you, traveler, who speaks as you smart. do. You seem to know your way around the globe. Well educated, and yet I am a college dropout. Wow. And geography is not my strong suit. But do you have nice suitcases? Yes, of course I do. Yes. Let me ask you this question. Which is north of which? Oh, this is an exciting game, which I may be terrible at. Okay, let's start you off easy. All right. Howard Quiz. Minneapolis, Toronto. I believe that Toronto is north of Minneapolis. You are wrong. Is that so? Oh, wait. Is she right? <laughs> I tricked myself with that one. Toronto? <laughs> no, wait. We learned about this. Minneapolis is... Minneapolis right. is in the middle of the country. How, should we put some... Are PF, you thinking of Michigan? Let's put some where PF some, greenbacks on this one. What, is that? what does that mean? You want, That's you want money in Paul's wallet. PF greenbacks. Oh, really? Okay. You know I never carry cash. <laughs> <laughs> A steampunk guy should have cash, no? Ducats? What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have old fashioned money. <laughs> <laughs> that you print yourself? Yeah. Okay. Just coins. Just okay. coins. Ducats. Um check check on this one. Okay. I believe Minneapolis to be north of Toronto. Well, Toronto's on the east coast. Wait, do you got this, Brett? Mm. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I think that means you do know you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we establish this one already? Uh, yeah, but I, I've already forgotten. What do we got? What do we got? Hmm. hmm. I think... Mini is north of Toronto. Come on. Get with it. Well, Minneapolis is here. Right. Toronto Where's Toronto? Is down in that. No. Toronto is like Slap in here, Slap me right? with some detail. <laughs> Give me one of these guys. <laughs> Slap me with some detail. Well, he's got a map that doesn't have both cities on it. It's not going to prove much. <laughs> Are we done with the map? Paul, let's take you to the second question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> while, this one, while this one's in, in turnaround. <laughs> yeah, second question. Go ahead. Okay. Does it make sense for the Caribbean to be non-English speaking? <laughs> I thought the game was north. <laughs> oh, okay. Good point. Good point. I changed the game too soon. I really did thought... I really, I really did think the game was which is north of which. Okay. <laughs> okay. Minneapolis is Min north. Minneapolis. Toronto. North of Toronto. Toronto. Wow, Paul just learned something. I did. Look at that. And you know what else you learned? There's three chicken nuggets of water <laughs> right hey, off of North America. Or chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. Yeah, chicken fingers. But that's how you tell the difference between Europe and North America. Also, only one really looks like a chicken finger. Uh, you know, you get a misshapen one every now and then. Not quite that misshapen. I would, I would get if that that restaurant probably has a C. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is making me hungry. I wouldn't eat there. <laughs> Dropping from the top to number two, CGI Fest, Jack and the Giant, Jack the Giant Slayer. Oh boy, I can't say anything right. Ask not whence the thunder comes. This was originally scheduled to open last June with the title Jack the Giant Killer, but then Warner Brothers bumped it back and switched to a gentler title in an effort to woo family audiences. It is gentler. It's gentler. <laughs> it's a slayer now. I mean, a dumber title. The hope is to score big internationally. <laughs> At this point. That's their hope. That's their hope because their production budget is $195 million. So far, it's made $46.2. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. They overestimated a I, um. <laughs> right? You're doing giant noises. I wish I was. You're so much better than me. Uh, I feel like this movie now is going to hurt my movie, Ooh. Jack the Giant Slayer fan, which is about oh. this guy who loves Slayer. Whoa. Is I hope it doesn't. Is he large in stature at all? Or? No, he's just he's just really into, into it. Okay. That's how he's a giant Slayer okay. fan. Uh, Paul, I bet you're familiar with this one. Mm -hmm. Abbott and Costello meet the giant. Where it's Jack and the Beanstalk, but but uh, Abbott is the uh, is Jack. I do remember seeing that when I was a kid on TV. And the giant is like a guy who's like six four. Is it called? Is it called Abbott and Costello Meet the Giant? Yes. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's what Ida called it. 
But uh, no, it's, it's simple and direct. Yeah, Do you, you want to put some Howard K. Greenbacks on this? H. K. Greenbacks. Ooh. Yeah. That. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. Put the same amount we put on that other one. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I think it is. Meet the giant, and um, they sing songs up there. They run from the giant. It's, they it's, sing it's, songs it's, up it's, there. They find time for music. That up sounds there. like they really relax. Yeah. And um, are you looking at? You want me to? Look, I'll look it up right now. Sorry. No, it's I'll a great. It Let's it's all look great. It up. I owned it on DVD and on VHS. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. What? Did you really? Yeah. Why? You know when I switch when they switch formats. I no no no. My Why copy. at all? Oh, uh, I did actually, you watch it more than once? It had funny songs in it. But you were you a child who had access to money? No, I was a um, a snarky teen. <laughs> but you, as a teenager, you enjoyed this Evan Costello movie. Yeah, it was silly and it had funny songs. All right, like like someone else I know. Cool up. No, you stupid. Oh. What are you? Come on. <laughs> you know, it isn't because they, there are Abigail meet like the mummy, but it's not. They really, they were very social and they met a lot of people. Oh, they maybe it's just Jack and the Beanstalk then. Yeah, I think it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Let me find it. Beep, 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 beep. I'll tell you what, it's Four better, it's it's better than color, this new one. I would one. say it's probably later. Okay. It's, it's better than this new one. Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's so good you lost. I lost. I'm sorry, but hopefully, I brought to attention this film because it, it deserves a, a second gen- audience, a new generation. Do you think that this new movie, Jack the Giant Slayer, has silly songs? Mm. I bet it doesn't. It probably doesn't, right? Yeah, yeah. I bet it has no uh, mirthful music. Would you count Fee Fi Fo Fum as a song? By who? By a giant. Um. <laughs> uh, but they might be giants. A melodic giant. Hey, by the way. Hey, did they ever cover that? <laughs> Listen. They should. They should. <laughs> Can I tell you something? They should. <laughs> they might be giants is back in my life. If you don't know what they've been up to for the last 25 years, it's all on Disney radio. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Howard starts his day with Disney radio. I have sure. been of late because it reminds me of being a kid when you bought into society, so you'd bound out of bed to do stuff. And then as an adult... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> what are you talking about? When you're a kid, you don't really think like I'm gonna pull out of this whole mess. You just kind of keep. You do it. You go to school. You do everything you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. Well. Well, not. Yeah. But you also get to just play. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to have a job. Right. There's even that incentive too. But now, as an adult, seems like a fair trade-off. Go to school, learn things about the world. And then once you're done learning, you get to go home and just play like an asshole. Did you look at it that way as a kid? No, of course not. Right. But as a kid with Disney radio, it helps grease the wheels. Get out of bed. You're a pirate captain. And then before you know it, you're on the bus to school. Before you realize you've been hoodwinked by Disney radio. So are you... But now, you you listen to Disney Radio now. Does it help you in life? It helps me because I'm saying it it helps you buy into, like, we got to do a bunch of stuff today. Cause, but cause, then, don't you also um, have to listen to something else to come down from that? Weren't you telling me that yesterday? Uh, I was saying I was segging into the Jillian Michaels workout. Ah, yes. Tapes. There we go. Go ahead. Because, now we come to the crux of it. Because um, Disney Radio gets you so up. That you kind of got to want to do stuff. So then, okay, yeah. I'll exercise a little bit to those Jillian Michael saves. Because John Carl, your old John friend Carl. Jillian, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, how do you come down from that? After that, I do my Coolops, which is um, Coolop now owns a good portion of my day. Where <laughs> I used to just kind of do whatever I want. Now I have to keep up with the emails and the Gmails and the tweets, C mails, promo, <laughs> every B mails, <laughs> right. So I got to do my coup do's. Is that cool up duties? Uh, yep. And uh, so that's it. Most of my day, it's just like staring at that computer, waiting for a new, another order from coup, <laughs> which I gladly fulfill. <laughs> Disney Radio, Jillian Michaels, and then my afternoon is for coup. <laughs> Where does one find Disney Radio? Is it satellite? Oh, it's uh, AM 1110. Oh, free to the world. Yes, you should listen to it. There's a lot of, wow. uh, quite a bit of my be Giants material. <laughs> that's strong. Would you like, my, they might be Giants? I like they might be Giants. They're but on they're, there. They're doing stuff for kids. That's, that's for kids. 
They, it's all that, all morning. Fee, fi, fo, fo. Right. Right? You're a Disney giant. You're a pirate. I smell on the blood island. of an Englishman. Constantinople. <laughs> It's the same stuff they've always been doing, but now kids pay top dollar for it. That's right. <laughs> Opening this weekend and likely at number one, Oz the Great and Powerful. See the most wondrous sights of Oh, Nambra, oh, likely. Oh, likely at number one. I don't want to be screwed up. Better than us. Sorry, Paul. I'm, get, I'm watching the trailer. <laughs> Please. Well, that looks steampunk, Paul. You're really obsessed. You are Steam Funky Brewster. <laughs> what what do you think? What do you think steampunk is? Steampunk is when they make new stuff look like that old stuff that never existed. It's like that yeah. HG Wells. They just glue a bunch of clock gears onto things. Right. Yes. But I know. But, but what do I do? There's <laughs> evidence of that. If you held an, an object that was steampunk, it would look right in your hands because you look cultured. You look like you're from 80 days around the world in 80 days. <laughs> that title needs work. <laughs> you, Doctor Doolittle, and you could easily Doctor convert. Doctor Doolittle, <laughs> not not Eddie Murphy, the original. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you look like a time machine would be comfortably parked in your yard. <laughs> My yard. I don't have a special <laughs> sort of garage for the time machine. What's in his foyer? <laughs> what do you think is in his foyer? Oh, his foyer mm-hmm. would be a, ha- uh, uh, a, a, crystal, a crystal device. Oh, a crystal device. If he could, yeah. A it's an more artifact. A crystal he, device? He's waiting for... Uh, Maybe like a, a crystal skull. Right. Huh? Sure. You're part Indiana Jones. Yes. <laughs> sort of a steampunk Indiana Jones. Yes, yes. yes. Andy with a whip. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whip room. <laughs> of course I do. A whippery. Yeah. Now, <laughs> shall I ask you to the whippery? <laughs> whippery. <laughs> Wouldn't, uh, I feel like most people have this same vision of you. Is this not accurate? Uh, Does this not fall in line with what I, you've, the I, other feedback you've gotten? I can't. <laughs> it's like getting very, like a very a corporate survey all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Would this fall about in line with other feedback you've received? Mm-hmm. Um, I cannot say you are the first to accuse me of steampunkery, but you are the most tenacious. <laughs> oh, I'm, okay. So I've bought into this image the most. I feel like you are almost like an investigative journalist, and you sense that I'm hiding a lot of steampunk. And you are going to get to the bottom of Can it. Can I finish my investigation? Three more of questions, and Absolutely. then I'll drop it. Yes. Well, you don't even have to drop it. Okay. You can ask me steampunk questions <laughs> to, for as long as we know each other. All right, but I'd like to I'd like to uh, not be in suspense the whole time. I want to know if I'm right. But can we can we what? take a break? Is that we're kind of running late? Oh, okay, absolutely. Let's you take, should let's let's store this, your energy on the next Paul's next appearance. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be back. Who tried it live on VPN? A thing on your teeth. Oh, I do? Oh, I got stuff on my teeth. <laughs> Is it all? Yeah. Whoa. All right, we're back on it. Who it? With Cuckoo. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And PFT. Hi. <laughs> um, so we are, we're going to answer your questions. It's that Q&A portion I was talking about earlier, Paul. Yeah. Thank oh, you. I forgot to say, I'm not going to answer any questions. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Paul. Paul. Whoa. How steampunk or not of you. Do you want I feel like you're you're losing track of what the word means. You're losing steam. It's very steampunk of you to not or answer not. questions. Oh, yes. Well, or not. It's just whatever he does. Hey, listen. Uh, I want Paul involved, and uh, I'm willing to uh, forego one of my answers to get him involved. Let's do oh, it. Wow, hey, you heard it. You heard uh, it here. Well, thanks, thanks everybody no for choice. watching. Yes, and thank for, you. And for participating. Oh, and before we get into it, uh, I want to announce that our upcoming South by Southwest show, our ga- our guest is going to be Matt and Kim. Oh, yeah. We're super excited about that. Hi, 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 hi. Matt and Kim! 
Mountain Kim. Mountain Kim, they do music right. It's upbeat. They're not dragging you down into the turf. They're keeping you elevated. Go. Uh, would they be at home on Disney Radio, uh, getting you out there to get stuff done? Jillian Michaels workout? I bet there are some. There's a few songs they have that would fit nicely into that playlist without compromising what Matt and Kim set out to do for adults. Our show is at Esther's Follies, Wednesday, 313 at 6, 6 p.m. We will see you there. It's so exciting. All right, Esther's. Esther's. All right, let's, here's our first question. It's from Nickel Beasy. Nickel Beasy. <laughs> sure it is. Did someone scalp Lee and then left his hair on the table? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Watch up. <laughs> it's like this seven. My hair. Um, I guess so. He must have been under attack. And the guitar. They left the guitar as well. <laughs> the guitar. Oh, Howard. It's the best I can do. the guitar? <laughs> so seven. Uh, Sarah Badget ass. Cool out. Badget ass. So <laughs> badget ass. She's a real badget ass. <laughs> <laughs> cool up. Will you bring Rocky on the show sometime? I would love to, but dogs aren't allowed in the studio. Wait, John Carlo so? had his dog up here. Yeah, it was uh, n- not. Uh, it was against the rules. It wasn't it was frowned upon. And wasn't Rocky already out of show? Yeah, our, in our old studio. Oh, yeah. oh, anything goes. That old studio. Yeah, <laughs> dog Ooh, Wild West. over there. You could do an autopsy there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if we have Caesar Milan on and he wants to bring a dog, I'm I'm saying he brings it. Or we move. We just move. Is it the whole? Is it an ordinance of the building? Yes. Uh, rules. Oh, the man. The man. No wonder Delicious Vinyl left this building. I'm not listening to Disney Radio ever again. <laughs> It'll inspire me to come to this corporate hellhole. <laughs> uh, let's see. What books are Ku, PFT, and we reading? Oh, I'm so glad I was included. <laughs> what are you guys reading? Let's go ra- around. I just downloaded. Oh, I don't know what it's called. I just downloaded a new book. I just finished a book called 1001. Uh, Domes? And, oh, I have the new George Saunders uh, collection of short <laughs> stories. Uh, no, the title of the book is 1001. Okay. George Sanders? George Saunders. The Saunders, the colonel. Yes. His new book of short stories. Okay. Must be about his recipes. Um, George Saunders, I enjoy his work. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now, you, now you're on the record as having said that. <laughs> yes. I am reading a, a, a kind of heavy book right now. Oh. It's uh, Understanding the Borderline Mother. Oh, fun. <laughs> wow. Beach read? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was it's a just... breezy beach read. It's like reading it going, <sighs> yep, check. Yeah, yeah, that's her. <laughs> check, that's also her. <laughs> Is it a big book? It's a big book. Yeah. Yeah, so I just I just began that last night. How about you, Wee Wee? I am currently reading the lyrics to Borderline by Madonna, (laughs) which are also a tough read. May I ask Kulop? Yeah? May I ask Kulop a question? (laughs) Of course. Thank you very much. Kulop, may I ask you, uh, understanding the Borderline Mother, is the, the goal of the book to get you to understand what is going on in a Borderline Mother's mind? So that it helps you cope with the the ups and downs of that? Yeah, basically. It's like the full title something like Understanding the Borderline Mother, and then it's something like So Her Children Can Understand This Intense Relationship. All right. Yeah. So then it's like, hey, this stuff is going to happen, and then here's what you can do about it. Yeah, or in the past to have you understand what your childhood was oh. like and how it wasn't normal. Too late, stuff. though. Too late. Too late. <laughs> it's too late to <laughs> But what about so... Well, like, you look at that stuff in the past, like, now you understand what was going on. And it's like, yeah, still don't like it. Still, <laughs> still don't like it. Change it. Still doesn't make it right. Still happened. But maybe... Where's that Time Machine book, right? Parked oh. in the yard. <laughs> your yard. <laughs> If your time machine is in the yard, you just might be a steampunk. steampunk. I like that. Thank you, Marilyn221, for that question. If your gears have gears, you might be a steampunk. If your top hat has goggles on it, <laughs> you just might be a steampunk. <laughs> or mystery from... Uh, That's true. He's peacocking. Peacocking. Let's There's see. a fine line between peacocking and steampunk. Steampunking. Uh... That line Aww. is fine. What am I reading? I am reading, um, it's still the same, uh, Do You by Russell Simmons. He wears a terrible sweater on the cover, <laughs> but the facts inside are sound. How long have you been reading this book? Like a year and a half. 
How you, have you finished it and you're just going back to yeah, it? Yeah, I go back to it. I mark parts. I like oh, to. I would uh, love to see what you've highlighted. I have a real to part refresh marker. it. I'll do it. I try to do. I try to do just a little dot with my pen, so that if a future person re- wants to read the book. You mean like someone who travels back in time? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a future person. Someone who accesses this book through time machine. Someone in a silver jumpsuit says, are you finished with that book? <laughs> and and the book will still be uh, able to be enjoyed without the uh, encumbered, you know, I don't write in words. I don't add to the text. I just highlight. <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> Absolutely. Next question. What do we got? Howard, with your newfound clench health, have you given up the neck poking? This is asked by Ollie. Actually, uh, I'll answer this one in a serious vein. Mm. I have stopped doing the poking, oh, and the clench has improved greatly. Ah. I found things that work better than the skewers. Oh, oh God. Stretches. Stretches. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Some right. of it's stuff that Kulop showed me in San Francisco, mm-hmm. Sun, Sundance. Um, some of it's stuff I picked up from other uh, disciplines. I thought you, I... There was a there was a fear there for when you said you found something better. Yeah, there was than the palpable skewers. fear. Oh, okay. Like from this I'm inserting oh, kerplunk <laughs> sticks <laughs> into <laughs> my <laughs> neck. Just carabiners. I'm just <laughs> shoving carabiners into my neck. <laughs> Syringes. <laughs> Question for PFT: Do you sleep in a suit? Asked Natalie I'll Spencer. I'll answer that. Of, yes, please. <laughs> yes. Of course I do. A pajama suit. Of course I sleep in a suit. <laughs> or. Devil's or advocate. I don't. He does it. I would say Paul. S- <laughs> devil's <laughs> advocate. <laughs> Just does it. <laughs> was that? A, I don't know. If that was a devil's advocate situation. <laughs> um, if, if we've established or that you advocate, do, that's not the answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm letting it go into the yes, ca- no category. I would say you're a guy that. Uh, because you are so wrapped up like a gift out in the world that when you get under the covers, you decide you that's when it's you time go to open the that present. Right. There you go. I will say this. I whenever I reference the gym on social media, like in a tweet or something like that, if I reference the gym, I always get a bunch of people saying to me, Do you work out in a suit? I imagine you working out in a suit. Like a lot of people say it to me. And then the other day, and I put that's I called post, popular opinion. I put it's popular opinion, uh, the public perception. True. Uh, the other day, I was at the gym, and I saw a guy get on a machine. I put this on Twitter. I saw a guy get on a machine wearing a shirt and tie, he's like wearing jeans, but he's wearing a shirt and tie. And he got on an elliptical machine and started uh, using an elliptical it. machine. What was that? What, what do you think that was? I don't know. He was talking very animatedly to this woman next to him. He clearly knew her. I don't know if he was like he worked. He was there. leaving the gym. He did not. I don't think he worked there. But oh, I think he's he might have been his leave. heart rate up for a sales pitch or something. <laughs> he had a big sales pitch that he or couldn't. He, he couldn't it, afford to blow this one. He's doing right. like a great romantic gets, gets gesture to, to the girl. Huh? I don't know. He he worked. He worked out for a. Like a minute, two minutes. Well, that's a and long then got time. Off the machine. A, yeah, it was a long time, and he was like going fast too. Mm, maybe just to show off. Hey, I'm better than you. I do it in a suit. Oh, it's a power play. There was a lot of one oh, upsmanship. It's fucking the gym. on now with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever see him again, you know, what he looked like was uh, the guy who plays the lead on the FX show The Americans. Which, if you're not, oh yes, it's a good show. It's a good show. I like we'll that. Show. I endorse it. Won't it's watch very it. Good. Why? Why won't you watch it? Didn't like that. Those early '80s was not a fun time period. <laughs> the clothes were not very good. Hip hop had not yet gotten c- cooking. It was a dead time. Oh, then this show's very. They got some things wrong because there's hip hop all over this show. There's not. That's wrong. I mean, '83 there was hip hop, but you it, might like it. But there's like. A lot of the plots center on hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Hmm. The Do they have the rapping Duke in there? The John Wayne one? <laughs> da ha da ha. Da ha 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 ha. Was that a That's hit in Philly song. radio? <laughs> it was a hit uh, in not, New York radio. I'm not familiar with that one. It was just a rap, but it was supposed to be John Wayne, the rapping Duke. Like a novelty record? Like somebody was doing a John Wayne impression? Yeah, but it was a big It was hit. not sound clips of John Wayne. It was somebody doing a John Wayne voice. Yeah, it was a John Wayne-ish rapper. And he would go, da-ha, da-ha. Was it better or worse than Rappin' Rodney? It was worse. 
<laughs> Shane Degnan asks, I'm 31. Is that old enough for some insoles? Yes, it is. <laughs> You're never too young for insoles. <laughs> Never too young. That's true. That's the beauty of insoles, really. <laughs> I mean, are your You're feet, never too young for your them. Your feet are never too young for for carpet for anything. <laughs> Listen, you gotta take. <laughs> what? Your feet are never too young carpet. for carpeting. You gotta take care of your feet. <laughs> yeah. Because you gotta, you're gonna walk on them, mm. God willing, Ugh. your whole life, God a long willing. time. You're never gonna take have a care different of pair of feet. Paul, we all know you have beautiful hands, as modeled on who <laughs> oh, charted. Oh, that's true. He does have good hands. <laughs> who else has beautiful hands? Finn seven two two. Who else has beautiful hands? You're supposed to know that? Oh. It never occurred to me to <laughs> look at other people's hands. <laughs> so but now busy. I see the mistake I've made. Oh. Are you humbled? I may be. I, I don't know. I just assumed I was the best. <sighs> well, maybe, uh, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll see some other hands and you'll realize you are the best. Maybe. Speaking of hands, can we see some more thumping from Gelatinous 3? Gelatinous 3, let's do it. Let's do it right on top of uh, the Get Your Wolf guest book. Paul, you're not, with your beautiful hands, you're not going to participate in this lewd activity? This is not for Paul. This is not I a steam, steampunk sanction. <laughs> Don't cut away from that. There you go. Make sure you get the underhinge. There you go. And that is something yes, you can truly, use in any country. Truly obscene. You can use in any country? <laughs> yeah. Were you not uh, familiar with the language? This You can display your intentions and, dis- and uh, advertise your wares. We have two questions, basically, the same. It's when can we expect more analyzed fish? We from Justin M.H. and P. Menon. Hey, oh, two people asked that question? Wow, yeah, basically. full two. We got a full <laughs> two on that one. Hey, uh, Paul, they, they played wow. the Jaws theme on the Oscars. They were playing people off with the Jaws theme. That was horrible. Someone that was suggested awful. we do a whole episode just about that. What, like an hour? <laughs> I guess. Somebody wanted us to discuss. If we, if we, if we did that, the black fins on the coast of Florida, the current black attacks fin. in the Australia. Well, now there's no real- Shark week. There's no real <laughs> thrust other than just we're going to talk about whatever sh- random shark facts there are. It's a chance to get some FaceTime with Shelby. It's- uh, <laughs> I know. It's a lot. We get a lot out of it. We became like a little family. Well, the Jaws family. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh I I was hoping that there would be something that would naturally lead us to a third installment, but nothing did. <laughs> nothing did. No. We kind of sewed it up. That was it. Okay. She it's saw dead. the movie. She liked it. The end. <laughs> there you go. Just like Jaws. The shark's dead. We swim off into the sunset. Smile, you sons of a bitch. Marcelo Pico asked, did Howard say when the newborn baby cult video would premiere? It's coming out in a few uh, minutes. Should we do it now? Why don't we do it now? Do we Let's hit, see it. We Let's hit, see it. What? what? Wait, wait. Can we put it? I thought we were going to do an outro so I don't do have to watch it. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. We'll save that for later. You know, it's my own work. I don't want to no, see you'd that. You'd be so self-conscious. Right. In front of these other people. Right. Like but a, you, could you watch it at home by yourself? I have to. I have had to because I had to make it. So uh, that's why, you know what I mean? I've seen it a lot of times. I hear what you're saying, girl. I'd rather uh, <laughs> drop it off for someone else. That's right. Like an absentee father. <laughs> Let someone else play with it. Question for me and Howard. <laughs> How much time do they actually spend on the podcast each, each week? Howard makes it seem like it's a full-time job. It is a full-time job in the sense that take we, a look at that question. we mine our lives for it. So we live it. And then we come on and talk about it because I am now on coup time and I do my coup dues during the day. Mm-hmm. I basically am just living for podca- this podcast. May I say kudos on those yeah. coup dues? Well, thank you very much. I I coup con- I may I coup congratulate you? Oh, oh, thank you. You're lapping me with coupons. I cooker. I cooker. I cooker. <laughs> yeah. Can there be a Who Charted contest with top prize being an invite to a cool up dance party? Asked Kristen Peck. There could be. I haven't thrown a party in a while. I think you should. You You're need to get to. the cool, the cool army to. of interns yeah. on that <laughs> and um, mobilize them so we could have a dance party. Yeah. Has Paul considered opening a theremin based restaurant with his partner, Eben Schletter? Asked Dan, Dan Engler. I will sue. But we, go ahead. Oh, uh, it's not. I don't think it's the same thing. <laughs> Th- what is that? Well, okay, uh, welcome. 
<laughs> yes, right. please. Please show us the difference. Welcome to the restaurant. <laughs> Uh, may I take your order? I'll have the Thera Minestrone soup. Okay, here we go. Let me just order that for you. <laughs> That'll be right out. I think. You know what? It's really imprecise, so. I'm not happy about this because I like it. <laughs> I like this place. It's you, you go in, it's more of a ghoulish type of thing. That's right. You do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like 50s B movies. Do you see it as being steampunky at all? <laughs> mm, in the sense that you're using old school. Yes, I do. Hey, I saw the last one minute of t- that. Haunted Mansion movie. Do you remember when that happened? The Disney what? made a movie yeah. of the Haunted Mansion. Eddie and Murphy? Eddie, of course Eddie Murphy of was course, in it. Of course, yes. No, I forgot. Well, I don't remember that. Fire- at, at the end, the ghosts get to go. <laughs> they go to heaven. What? Uh, That's not fun. No, no. To really no. think about them being dead and like tormented souls that are trapped in a mansion. But that's the end of the movie. Wait, that- so they don't get to be ghosts anymore? They go to heaven? They go to heaven. Are you, can you be a ghost in heaven, or what? Do, do you just become? I think you, you're deep. now you. Deep. We gotta an uh, clear clear everything out. Clear. You pass <laughs> into the next into the next stage of uh, existence in the afterlife. Hmm, it's legit. <laughs> Which is your soul is pure and free, and you dwell with uh, our Father. Who art in heaven? That's right. Hallowed be His name. No, no. <laughs> sounds like a crock. Of. Religion. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Howard, what are some other things that are just like tweets? H.C. Oh, uh, we know that movies are just like movies. Movies are just like does tweets. Does the list end there? It does not. Huh? Oh. Uh, most media is like tweets. Uh, Can you refine magazine, it a little bit? <laughs> magazines are just like tweets. How so? They're just, there's tons of them. They're constantly coming out. There's piles of them in places, but you don't need to see them. Okay, anything else? Yeah, uh, albums, music albums. <gasps> Really? That's if you, like if there's there's hundreds of thousands of there's thousands of them released every year. You you you're probably only going to like 30 of them tops. But now what do you want to put a cap on it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying <laughs> there should only be a, a certain number of you know units of entertainment allowed every year? Uh, there, what? What? There is too much, that's for sure. I'm not saying we put what a cap about on it. Douche minutia, is that No no that's this is cool, this is what I'm getting to. Thank no, no, no. I'm not I'm just saying a lot of stuff comes out, not all of it's good. No, it's, 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 it's it Hogwarts. should all be legal. It should all be legal. Did you take it away from him? Yes. <laughs> She took my phone. She took my afternoons, my freedom, you and my phone. You couldn't be trusted to police yourself with the personal monitor. <laughs> well, I feel more freedoms would be taken away as we progress. Every day, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, um, what was the question? What things are like tweets? Oh, tweets. Yeah. F- albums, books, TV shows. What things aren't like tweets? Uh, foods. <laughs> Foods are not. You're not constantly being inundated with with <laughs> of new food. Are you stuff. fucking kidding me? I just named five restaurants. Yeah, those and are, restaurant. Those are recipes. <laughs> the ramp, the ramp restaurant. Those are recipes. I'm talking about food. It's not like hey, recipes. there's. What do you mean they're recipes? There's never a new food. You've got meat. You've got vegetables. You've got fruits. They're not going to hit you with a new one. <laughs> Superfoods. Oh. That's, I'll take it. So that's like once every five years. Superfoods. Thank you. New food. What about hybrids? Cran apple. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean spray. Yeah, like apples that smell like grapes. Strawberry mm. banana smoothie. <laughs> no, nah, smoothies. I'm not in the data with smoothies. smoothies. They're right? just, just like, like tweets. tweets. How about this? <laughs> smoothies. They're just like treats. <laughs> All right. You know what they we, are. I think we need to end the show. <laughs> we do. Hey, enjoy the newborn baby cult video. I worked hard and long on it. Now, this is not is that the, part of the Born series of films. <laughs> uh, it is. Yes, there are a lot of close. Born up. baby cult. Newborn. <laughs> There's a new. I like born. that idea. Call a funny or die. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> newborn baby cult. With a lot of sh- close cams and hand fighting. Jason Bourne baby cult. Uh, mm-hmm. It is uh, a newborn baby cult. It's a video I worked hard on. Now, what you're seeing today is just a presentation to Kulop. So it's it's, it's just an so offering. So it's not done yet? It is in the sense that I think it's done, but if Ku doesn't think it's done, it's not done. Oh. oh. You, know you hold the cards. 
Right. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Paul. You're, <laughs> yes, it's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul? <laughs> yeah. I want to say Paul. Paul? <laughs> Paul, you did a fantastic you're the job. Best. You're the, our number one as far as guest appearances. Guys, and now you're quality of guest appearance. We've done video with you, which I feel good about. I, I'm flattered to have been asked. It was a treat to see you guys as always. So we will hear see love on you next week on Who Charlie. Let's see that video. From the pounding of the steel Wobbling like the first time you wore high heels Like Indiana Jones on the rope bridge Rickety, rickety, that's what it is Weak in the knees, legs about to wilt Like the floors on a hydraulic hill Somewhere around the store, can't stand still Can't want you to watch you go Shoot like big, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat. I shoot like big, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat. Dragon boy sway, yes I'm the best. Got you looking like you fell sobriety test. Like you pulled the hammy, you caught a whammy, wobbling like old that just came out his mammy. Trying to stand for the very first time in the barn in the hay, all covered with slime. Will it be okay? You're just a baby, trying really hard not to land in the hay. Stumbling around the stall, trying not to fall. Be careful, little horse, or you're gonna hit the wall. I shoot like big, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a newborn baby coat. New one, baby, go. New one, baby, go. I shoot like nigga, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a new one, baby, go. New one, baby, go. New one, baby, go. See you wobbling with your steps like you just got delivered by the vet legs. Won't support your weight. You cannot stand up straight from getting bent to do a figure four and figure eight. I will bend you too. I will bend you fro. I will bend you like a balloon animal. Legs start to shake like a rattlesnake. It's not a tremor and it's not an earthquake. It's dragon boy swayed. I hit you with a bow. Careful little horse, yeah. I shoot like big, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat, newborn baby coat. I shoot like big, I hit you with a boat. I have your leg wobbling like a newborn baby coat. Newborn baby coat, newborn baby coat.